Tofuti recently hooked me up with a bunch of their products and on Instagram I posted, what do you guys want me to make? And half of the people said cheesecake and the other half said stuffed shells. I already made cheesecake for Easter. So I'm going to make some stuffed shells now. I have no reason to open this right now. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> but this is what it looks like in the inside. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself, like I said. First thing we're going to do for this, because there is some cooked spinach, is we're going to turn this on. It's a burner, we'll turn it on. I'll put that on like medium. On my oven, I know medium is actually pretty high, so I don't know who made this oven, but <laughs> know your oven. <laughs> All right, and then we're just going to bring this up to a boil before we throw in our jumbo shuff style, shuff style, shuff style shell, <laughs> which you said it was like really, really hard for These you to find recently, to find. right? They are, yes. I, I like I went to Wegmans and I just found like um, immediately, so which I'm jealous. So, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen. All right, once this got up to a boil, I turned it down slightly because I have made the mistake before of accidentally keeping it on like full blast, and then the Over the boiling. pot, yeah. <laughs> So, woo. also make sure not to splash yourself with boiling water. So, or, or your cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure they're not sticking together or something. I don't know what's. Uh, I don't know either. Italian. Uh, forget, forget about it. Huh? <laughs> These are all done cooking, and then you're just going to drain them. So these are just supposed to be al dente because uh, they're still gonna be cooking a little bit in the oven. And I'm just going to cool these down a bit just so that I can work with them because otherwise I will burn my little tootsies. Yeah. <laughs> so while that is over there cooling down, I'm just going to... Wow, this came out really easily. That's old. <laughs> so, yeah. So you could make your own ricotta cheese at home, but why? When you got tofu, you could just scoop it out. It's just so much easier. So uh, the next thing I'm going to put in here is <laughs> just knocking <laughs> stuff over. <laughs> Got some follow your heart. I was gonna look for Violife, um, but unfortunately I could not, could not find the, the block that you can shred um, at, uh, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, <laughs> that's really useful spoon, right? <laughs> just throw the head in there. I don't know, it's probably like a quarter cup or something. And then uh, we'll just, uh, blah, 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 that's good. <laughs> I like how you cook. Yeah, and then we're gonna throw in a little more Italian seasonings because uh, my mom doesn't really like that much um, garlic powder when she's working, so I mean, I still put a lot in, but, yeah. but comparatively, I put in more Italian seasoning, okay? <laughs> so forget about it. I'm just gonna mix her up. Does it smell good? It does smell good. Yeah. It smells really good. Hey, and he's not even vegan. And <laughs> I forgot to do this earlier, so we're just gonna plop in the spinach. And really, any vegetable would work well, but pretty much all the recipes when I was looking this up online, because I'm just sort of like making this up as I go, but like all the recipes called for spinach, I was like, you know what, if that's like traditional, in these recipes, we're gonna try that. And also, I know my mom loves lots of vegetables in her stuff, so I'm sure she would also like maybe like some shredded zucchini or something like that, or vegetables. Yeah. My mom likes vegetables. So I'm just going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, uh, <laughs> you don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm just gonna put down some sauce on the bottom of the pan, just looking to coat it. And I already washed my hands, so if you have not, don't skip that step. Uh, and then I'm just going to stuff these shells. And you could also, you know what? That looks good, it's not super stuffed, it's not really getting quite in there, but as long as people are getting some of the filling near their stuffed shell, I think they're probably gonna be fine with it. And I read on another recipe that a piping bag would work really good, or like a pastry bag would work really good for this. So let me know, have one of those. <laughs> I feel like I'm very clumsy when I'm doing this. This is my first time doing this. <laughs> Couldn't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> From all the mistakes I've made so far. Like it seems like it would be a fancy recipe. Like if someone said stuffed shells, we'd be like, wow, you're a good, you must be a great cook. Yeah. And then you see the recipe, you're like, oh, I can do that. Wow, what like perfect timing, right when we were finishing the last shell. And like I was telling Scott, like some of these have been very satisfying to fill because they're just like, the shell will just stay open and other ones like this one was like closing as I was trying to do it. So you saw I was like, going, I was like, no, 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 don't. 
All right, now I gotta wash my hands and cover it in sauce. So while I was over there washing my hands, I licked my hands. Don't worry, I washed them <laughs> after the lick. Uh, but I was talking to Scott and I was just like, oh, I'm, I've made my own uh, ricotta before. Like this actually tastes better than the kind that I make. Um, but I was like, oh, mine's healthier than I make. But I was just reading this and I was like, it's really not that bad. So I'm just gonna read the list of ingredients here is water, palm oil, maltodextrin, non-GMO soy protein, tofu, vegetable lactic acid, locust, bean gum, guar, cellulose, and xanthan gum, brown rice, agar, vinegar, sugar, and salt. Like the main ingredient is water. So it's like healthy. It's a high, it's a very hydrating food. <laughs> Just keep, tell <laughs> just keep telling yourself that. Um, yeah, so then I'm just gonna throw a bunch of sauce in here. Like I said, I like it saucy. So this is probably way more sauce than is necessary, but it's better to have too much than not enough. I agree. I think um, Socrates said that. I think he was talking about his own stuffed shells that he was making at the time. <laughs> Everyone's favorite part. Just plop on a bunch of cheese. Yeah, you might as well just use the whole bag, because otherwise you got like an awkward amount left over. Yeah, you can't do anything with it. A little handful of cheese. <laughs> Let's throw her in the oven. So we're doing 350 degrees, and we're just going to do it for 25 minutes uncovered. All right, let's see how she is. It's like, you wanna get a little close up on that? Yeah, that looks gorgeous. Sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> now we're gonna see if we can surprise my family with this ricotta for <laughs> stuffed shells. Because I might have actually blown the cover to my mom. Oh, did you? I might have. Did you know that I was bringing no. something? You didn't? <laughs> oh my God. But I'm right here, I'm filling up your office. <laughs> Do you know what it is? It looks like stuffed shells with some kind of spinach. So I'm gonna say stuffed shells quarantine. If that's what spinach stuff, you stuff, put, stuff <laughs> shells are. You put spinach and stuff. It's. I no told quarantine. you she would like it with spinach. <laughs> you put he said stuff. more vegetables. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you cram vegetables. You could put yeah. some quinoa. You in know, there, we should have stuffed it with care. salad. Oh, that'd be awesome. Know. Speaking of not that, remember that walnut maple butter you gave me? Yeah. Oh, I've been hitting that hard. Yeah. That's like dessert. <laughs> I know. It's delicious. They also. You might have to sit down, but they also sell a, they also sell a salted caramel walnut butter. That same company. You got some in your pocket? Not <laughs> right now. You got a fork? Mm, no, I know you guys have forks. So I didn't come with any forks. We brought a big spoon though. So. I have this. Okay. All right, here you go. Thank you. Yeah, I made just enough for you, mom. Thank you. Here's your spoon to eat it too. Thank you. Are you guys hungry? Oh, no shit. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, you always a fork. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to do this? Uh, lasagna? S I mean, spaghetti. Grease. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> definitely not that, but yours is close. Stuffed shells. Yeah, 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 stuffed shells. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, stuff right? spaghetti. Stuffed spaghetti. We need to go to jail. Mm -hmm. Time okay. to put the chocolate on, Steve. Hey, give me a big fork. Give me a big fork. A big one. A pitchfork. <laughs> A pitchfork? He's very hungry. <laughs> oh, smells, okay. Smells great. You know, it looks great too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you help Scott? Um, by holding help? by holding this camera, I helped. Yes. You oh. the camera. Yeah. I'm not a cooker. <laughs> not, a cooker. <laughs> not a cooker. Not a cooker. So you're saying I have to share this? Uh, yes. Ooh. I think you might even get too full. I don't know you if that's ever. That's never happened. Yourself. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look, it's an actual pasta dish. It's uh, the bread, the guy, huh? Uh -huh. Forget about it. Get these dishes. Uh, in the back, they're at the bottom of the the bowl the stack. stack. They were in the back. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. They're at the bottom of the bowl stack, so you guys never use them. But I was like, it's like the most like pasta dishes. Yeah, and that's exactly what they are. I got them at the thrifty shop. Yeah. Is, is three shells too much for anybody? Dude, you could always go back for more. No, I mean, I'm, I'm asking if I'm scooping too much. I think oh. two to three. Leah, you're gonna eat? Yeah. Okay. Is three too much? Let's give it to her then. Okay. She can go back, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Whoopsie daisy. Hmm. Julia, what do you think? I'm a big person. I'm a big person. So, that's so, what you This is half so. the hour. Yeah. Right. Thank we'll you. Go. Happy hour. Early bird happy yeah. hour. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right, Dad. Good stuff. 
Just good stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gave it a ton. Oh, yeah. See, I told Scott I love sauce. Yeah, so I do too. I put some sauce, sauce. on the bottom, put sauce. some sauce on the yes. top. Said, I just didn't put sauce said, on the inside. I said, no sauce is too much. Yeah, no sauce is too much. I didn't so that, that's what you said? I, no, that's what I said. You, you said, said that I said. I said that you said <laughs> And you did too say too confusing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Run it back, Greg. You said Run that. it back. What's the point of putting sauce on the bottom? Because who doesn't like more sauce? <laughs> I mean, you don't really have to. I just like very saucy like, I guess it's, it's pasta out dishes. Because, like, out of the pan, so, like, when you scoop it, you're saying it's, like, it kind of Yeah, I, I just, yeah, like, if, if you're going to scoop more, I mean, I think it's going to maybe cook a little bit in the sauce, but then also you can, if you're scooping it, you can just get a little bit more sauce. Yeah. I just love sauce. <laughs> he said, he said. Run the tape. He said, she said, just he said. He's the sauce Nazi. He said, he said. Yeah. sauce. How many he's? Too many he's. Too many he's in one kitchen. Yep, I like these kind of surprises. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are we thinking? What, what do you want to be surprised with next time? There's not a lot of talking. Surprise me. Surprise me. <laughs> That's so good. That's why they call it a surprise. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm. I love it. Can't even talk. Can't even talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be able to tell that this is vegan if you didn't know that? Oh, definitely not. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. You told her? <laughs> well, well if I you guys are eating it. I'm standing with like four vegans. So, <laughs> so you knew? I had a suspicion. <laughs> she just quit. Yeah, I definitely would not have. Well, Scott said that he would try this, but he already had lunch. Mm -hmm. And I just had some, and it's like super creamy. Like the, the ricotta is like very creamy. Mm -hmm. It just, and like the, the shells are, I, I think, nicely cooked. And not like too, they're not like crispy yeah. or anything, or like no, soggy. This is the best part of my yeah, birthday. You do want to tell them <laughs> that. Yeah, somebody brings you a stuffed shell, so it's going to be a pretty good party. I don't know how you can top that. Bit, do you know what the ricotta is? Ricotta? No. Tofuti. Nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. But tofuti brand ricotta. Yes. Okay. Tofuti brand ricotta. Because I think I've done lasagna with that before. Mm -hmm. You've used something. it before. I wasn't sure if you recognized it. So, well, I wouldn't recognize the brand, no. It's good to me. It's, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I have no idea Steve, you haven't said much words, so I think it tastes it's good to me. It's too good, you can't stop eating. Yeah. Tofuti did a good job. Oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> Tofuti. Toad Craig. Mm. That, yeah, that's true. That's true. He did a good job, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm.